Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. So as you can tell folks, I'm talking about stoves today. And there are so many great advantages to these butane stoves. I picked this one up for $22. So they're really cheap and they're commonly available. But this is expensive. Uh, I paid $250 for this. And uh, one thing to be aware of is these are only eight ounce and this is 16 ounces. So you get twice as much fuel. Now these are now five bucks, but 250 is really cheap and these have gone up. And I think you're gonna find that you're gonna spend a lot more than 250 for these little bottles. But you, a lot of people really love this form factor. And so this is exactly the same form. One of the things people like about them is they both come in these little cases. Uh, and so you can just pack it away and store it away anytime you want and it's safe and tucked away. And these, both of these stoves, I won't demonstrate it, both of these stoves will fit into this exact same case. The form factor is identical. Uh, this stove is made by a company named Grill Boss, as you can see here. I bought this one because I needed a new stove. I've owned a stove exactly like this one for a very, very long time. This is the only stove I've used for over almost 20 years. I've been using a stove exactly like this for 20 years, and it failed. I mean, it literally failed. Now, this is a Coleman. And Coleman makes such good stuff for a really good price. And I, like I said, I used one of these for almost 20 years. And then it finally broke and I had to replace it. This is a Friends. Um, and I don't, like, um, I don't like the form factor. It's big, it's bulky. I have always hated this metal arm that came off. They do make them with hoses, but I haven't found any. And I like Coleman. So uh, I, I've never found one. And one bad thing about all these, uh, all these propane stoves like this one is they don't simmer well. They put out a really good amount of heat, but they don't simmer well. And so if you want to simmer, uh, then that's a, that's a problem because these just don't simmer well. And one of the huge advantages to these butanes is they simmer super well, really well. Uh, you can get down into a real low burn. And so that is true here. This simmers real well. I have only used it. Well, that's not true. I've used a few of the green of the bottles. Uh, the green, the propane, so much cheaper. That's just all I use. Uh, and so, but it simmers really well. And to my mind, you get the best of both worlds. You get the exact same form factor, uh, the easy starting, the easy attachment. Everything about it is just exactly like the butane, except at any given moment, you get to choose which one you put in it. I had bought one of these on a different brand name uh, probably five years ago or more, and it broke really soon on me, and I don't know why. I suspect I just got a bad one. Uh, and so I didn't want to buy that one again. It's cheaper. Let me give you an idea of prices of the stoves themselves. Uh, this stove I picked up in Quartzsite, Arizona at one of the local vendor tents and I paid $22 for it. So you can buy one of these really cheap ones on Amazon for as low as $21. It's a Chinese no name, but you can get one for $21. And Coleman is going to be more expensive. You're paying some for the name, but you're getting, you're getting superior quality. I buy any Coleman product, I think of decades of service. I don't think a decades of service for this. And so this is $55 and that's a lot of money, but I would, I've bought, uh, bought these and would never buy anything else than a Coleman for a stove. Although there's some good ones out there, a lot of good brand names. I like Coleman. This was also, this was uh, $55 as well. And you can get them cheaper. Uh, you can get these, the dual fuel, that's what makes this special, dual fuel. This will use both the uh, propane bottles and you can just unhook this hose that goes in and put this in and there's identical then. They're exactly identical except this gives you the option of hooking up propane. So these dual fuels run from anywhere from 40. I think the cheapest one on Amazon right now is 40. Um, and the, then 55 is the kind of the upper end. I did buy this one because of the reviews. The reviews were very good. And I liked uh, some of the things on it that looked a little better. These are three great stoves. The advantage to this is you do both. So I do recommend the dual fuels. So the three big disadvantages, which are the big advantages of propane, is that these can be hard to find, and they really can be. So Amazon sells a 12-pack, uh, and it's about, the cheapest one I could find was $36, so they're $3 each. 
Uh, now this is about the cheapest you can find is at Walmart, but uh, you can always find them at Walmart for five bucks. If you buy this anywhere, but Amazon, it's probably going to be three dollars and up. And sometimes you just cannot find these. I mean, I've been in places where with people with butane, they just couldn't find them. You're in small town America in the middle of nowhere. These just aren't readily available. And when you can find them, they can be like eight dollars for a bottle. I mean, it's ridiculous sometimes. But for me, the deal breaker is this doesn't work below 32 degrees. At 32 degrees, it's like magic. They stop flowing. And then you're going to have to add heat for this thing to work. You can do the old put it in your armpit. <laughs> you can uh, put it down underneath your coat and warm it up with your body heat. And then once it's gotten warm, that'll probably do it. But this not working below 32 degrees is a kind of a deal breaker for me. That alone was enough the difficulty in finding them the extra expense. But then a bigger thing is that I have used this stove, a stove exactly like this one, this isn't the one, uh, for years for heat. And I've, I've done a video on it and I, I, this works super well for me. Uh, I just get a, uh, one of these ceramic uh, terracotta pots, set it on the top and start it. And that's what I'm using for heat. But if you're gonna use one of these for heat, it can't stop flowing at 32 degrees. That just isn't going to work. So that eliminates butane for me. So I'm running propane, that's it. I'm not, there's no other option. Uh, this lets me, gives me the best of both worlds. The starting it is super easy. These little lighters on these start 100% of the time. It simmers well, I don't know why. All of a sudden propane simmers well on this stove. And uh, I love that it has a hose here because I can just you know set this thing and move it around easily. I like everything about this, this stove really well. And here's another reason. If, if you're gonna use one of these for, for heat, uh, you can't afford to buy either the green bottles or the little butane bottles. That's too expensive. So what I've always done and would recommend that you do is buy a bulk bottle. And all you have to do is buy a $20 hose. I'll do it for you here right now so you'll see it done. It's, it's not a difficulty, it's not a problem. So, and I've been using this stove to run my heat in my rig. It's been an unusually cold winter, a lot of you know. And so now this just screws in here. So now I'm hooked up to a bulk bottle. And you do them finger tight, get it good and tight with your finger. And then this uh, comes over here. And then this just screws on like this. And so now it's on. Gonna get that good and tight and you open it and now it's connected. It's now burning off of this. Now this is $3, oh no, it's gone up. I've been paying about $3 a gallon and it's gone up. It's gone up to in the $3.50 to $4 a gallon range. But it takes four, this is one gallon. This is one gallon of bulk propane and most of you are gonna be using, this is a two and a half gallon propane bottle. And most of you are familiar with the 20 pound, which is five gallons. This is one gallon, to a little over two gallons, and the big ones are five gallons. And then of course they go up to 20 and 30 and 100, 100 pound bottles, which are a lot. It takes four of these to equal the same amount of propane as this. Four of these is $20 at Walmart. And one of these at, you go and refill it at a, a, a gas station, one of these is going to cost you less than five. So it's four times more expensive to buy these than to buy one of these to fill this. That's why you're doing it in bulk, especially if you're running heat, because with running heat, you're gonna, I would, I might even have it on six, seven, eight hours a day. Uh, and it works just fine on this because it's so cheap, but this is not cheap. So that's the huge advantage of propane is that you can connect it to a bulk bottle. And some of you don't have room for a 20 pound bottle. And I can hear some of you saying it already, but these little one pound bottles will fit in even a car. Even if you have a car, you could probably figure this out and then just set it outside when you want to hook it up and, and use it. It takes eight of these to fill up one of these or four of these, the Coleman, to fill up one of these. That's 40 bucks versus five for one gallon of fuel. Now, butane burns a little bit hotter. Uh, it really does. It's, a, it's just a, a more volatile product, um, but not enough to offset a $40 versus $5 per gallon price difference. I mean, there's just no comparison. So 
this is the stove I'm recommending to you. And I think this is the perfect stove, the, the size, the convenience, the easiness, and it's cheap because it's dual fuel, both propane and butane. Uh, I just think this is fantastic. This is what you should be. You, I think you will all be served really better by this uh, than either one. You get the best of both worlds. Some of you have a, a stove inside your RV and you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't need any of that. Well, if it's uh, 90 degrees outside or 100 degrees outside, do you really want to be using your stove inside? That's when people have loved these, is they're so light and easy and convenient. And like I said, they fit in this case. You just put this in here and then you store it away. And if you need it to cook outside, you grab this, go outside, and there you go. These will both fit in this case. They're exactly the same form factor. If you want to be able to cook outside, uh, this is great, but it's awful expensive. It has disadvantages, and this is better because it's dual fuel. You get the best of both worlds. So in the summer, you'll be really glad you're using this because uh, you can use both fuels. And in the winter, you'll really be glad because you can supplement your heat with a, a bulk propane bottle. I couldn't possibly afford to use one of these as heat. They're just too expensive, too hard to find. Another thing I'm going to highly recommend for you is if you're going to be cooking outside uh, in almost anywhere, you're going to do it sometime when it's windy. And, uh, or even if you're cooking inside around in a, uh, your RV stove or one of these, if you're in a car van or RV, uh, you don't want splatters. So splatters and winds are big enemies to all of us. And so this is a product I highly recommend. These are commonly, they're all over the place. This is a camp stove windscreen. If you do a search on that, camp stove windscreen, this will come up. You see how, how um, easy this thing folds away and, and comes out. And then you just, uh, got it upside down. And then you just set it around here and it just bends at one of these joints. And then you've got this fantastic windscreen and splatter guard. And this works super well. And so when I uh, run this around this stove with running with my hose, I just do this and it works great. And then I put this in here when I'm using it for heat. Oh, the reason you use this, I don't know if I said that, the reason you use this is that all the heat doesn't go right up to the roof, which is not where you want it. You want it down where you're living. So um, this keeps the heat down here and then it just slowly escapes and rises. Of course, it always rises, but you can buy these. They all come with a little bag that you can throw it in. I really like these. I, this, these are really convenient. I like everything about them. However, here's a little DIY trick you can do. You can just go to Walmart and uh, these are a buck each. So this was $3. They're, they're metal and they, have, they come with the holes in them. And then you just use any piece of metal or even bailing wire would work just fine. Uh, and these are uh, kind of look like a key ring and you attach them together, you got your own homemade one. So that's a very clever idea. If you're just looking for something else to do, save some money. All of these things, uh, there will be a link down in the description. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.